tonight I'm going to be doing my cozy night in routine. So I'm just using some shaving foam. And I just have the miniature version. Some people have a bigger version. And I put this under my eyes and then rub that in. Now I'm just using the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. it's Rosie and welcome back to my channel I've changed my room around a bit for the Christmas holidays but tonight I'm going to be doing my cozy night in routine obviously I look like a state right now but I'm gonna transform and get all cozy ready for Christmas I'm just gonna give you a sneak peek on how my bedroom looks as well um, but we've got my bath fixed so I'm gonna have a lovely warm bubble bath make some hot chocolate I've brought some new skincare and I'm so excited to do this video. So guys, anyway, before we get on this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, click that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos, just like this one, and stay tuned all the way to the end because I'm using new skincare and I'm just gonna show you how to look after your skin through the winter. So I have had a long day at college and I just need to get in a nice warm bath I think I am about to start my period soon so my stomach is hurting so I feel like I just need to relax so let's run a bath just getting used to my bath okay. so I brought some new limited edition winter care this is just Dove Dove is really really good for my skin it's really hydrating this is not an ad, but it just works for my skin. So just use whatever works for yours. I also brought a new razor. This is an Estee razor. I actually lost my other one. I don't know where it went, but I brought a new one because I had all the heads to go with it. So I'm gonna use that today. This is really, really hot. That's fine, I'll get used to it. So I am just gonna chill out and relax in the bath and then I'm also going to shave my leg but I need to just relax because I have been so busy this past week and I'm also going to wash my hair you guys are just going to watch me chill in the bath and then shave my legs shave my legs so I'm gonna try and show you you guys how I shave so I'm just using some shaving foam this is the imperial leather moisturizing foam burst and then I'm just rubbing that into my skin anybody who doesn't shave their legs will not understand the feeling of getting into a fresh bed with freshly shaved legs Right guys, I've washed everything out and it's time for me to chill. Just got out of the bath, hair is lovely and washed. I'm gonna let it dry naturally tonight, but I'll brush it after I've done my skincare. Yeah, this is my hair when I get out of the bath. Um, my skin, as you can see, at the moment it's very tight, it's very dry. So I'm gonna show you the products that I use, especially for my dry skin. I'm gonna do it nice and close to the camera, but the first thing that I go in with is this Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow. These dew drops. And I just have the miniature version. Some people have a bigger version, but I like this one. It's perfect. And then I just rub that in. And by the way, this is actually watermelon. It smells so unbelievably nice. I've also got this little, um, what's it called? Lazy Susan. And it's got all of my new products on. So excited absolutely love it it's such a lifesaver after that i just go in with my fenty skin eye cream and this is thick and smooth and it's very good for my eyes it's not actually that hard it's just because i've got moisturizer on my hands and i put this under my eyes and then rub that in and as you can see, it literally straight away brightens up 
my under eyes so if you've got like dark circles like me i get quite bad dark circles this is perfect it doesn't have a scent so it's unscented and it's very very moisturizing now i'm just using the charlotte tilbury magic cream some people use this before makeup but i just like to use it as a normal moisturizer charlotte tilbury magic cream because it really evens out my skin tone and it just makes me feel really fresh i really like thick moisturizers and this one is literally perfect Next, I'm just going in, I don't know how to pronounce it, but I think it's Gua Sha, and I'm just using that on my jawline. It's very, very important in the winter to keep your skin lovely and hydrated because otherwise it can dry out. So this is what I do to keep my skin lovely and hydrated. just gonna go under my eyebrows and up and over time this should give you like a natural facelift so stop you from aging really and I know I'm only 16 but this is really really good to get all the blood flowing as well in your skin so that's why I use it I'm now just gonna use this it's ceramide primer I'm not doing makeup but this stuff doesn't really work for me as a primer so I just use it as a moisturizer And it's also really pretty. At first I thought it said mermaid primer, but it's not mermaid primer, it's ceramide. So that is really like my moisturizers that I use. This is how my skin looks as well. It's really helped my skin because I get, I'm getting quite a lot of spots in the winter. Um, if your skin is oily, you may want to look at some different stuff. This would, the glow recipe still probably would work, but just use some different stuff that's better for your skin. So that will maybe like dry out your skin a bit more or just like equalize the dryness and the oiliness. So I've just added more oil to my face because Obviously, I've got dry skin. One thing I really, really love to do in the winter is look after my lips because I get chapped lips so much. And then I'm just using the watermelon sugar lip scrub. And then I just massage that into my lips. This gets all of the dead skin off of your lips, stops it being chapped. So if your lips are chapped, lip scrubs are really, really good because it gets all of that like dead chapped stuff off the first layer of the lips. So after you're done, you literally just lick it off because this one is in fact edible and um, it says chasing that sugar high and it basically, how to use, scoop a little bit onto your finger, buff it on your lips and then lick or remove the excess. But it's just the watermelon scrub from Lush and it's got two little pieces, two little parts to it. The top bit is pink and then the bottom bit is green like a watermelon. And then I like to use the rose lollipop from Lush as well. Don't mind my nails, getting them done soon. And it just looks like this inside. And you literally just rub it, kind of like a Vaseline. And put that on your lips and stops your lips from getting chapped. And then I like to use the Nivea lip oil, just like this, and put that over the top that my lips lips are extra shiny because I like them being shiny and extra hydrated I cannot tell you what this smells like but it's really really sweet and really really fruity to me it smells like a blue raspberry slushy what your guys take is on that but that is my skincare for the winter so I'm just moving to over here now because I'm gonna brush my hair and then also I have brought this new deodorant. I've seen it all over TikTok. It's the wild deodorant and it actually works. It smells so unbelievable. I don't know which one I've got, but it smells so nice. So I'm just gonna put some of that on now. You can literally just take it out the top and pop a new one in whenever you want. So now I'm just gonna brush my hair through because I'm gonna let it dry naturally tonight. And that is really good because it just lets your hair settle 
if you can let it dry naturally because I know some people can't because they've got curly or coily or wavy hair. I do actually have wavy hair but it does look dead straight right now but I have to put products in it for it to go wavy um, because my hair's quite dead at the moment. So I know loads of people have like said, oh no, she's got straight hair. Naturally, when it dries, it has a kink in it. It's just when I brush it straight because it's soaking wet now. It looks really straight and then I just shush it up a little bit and then that is my hair and when it dries, it will go a bit more wavy. But um, yeah, that is my hair and skincare done. I'm just gonna flip it over. Try and get it into my actual parting. But I think I'm gonna go downstairs and make a hot chocolate. So come with me. I've also invested in some new pyjamas. These are actually from B&M and they're so comfy. They're a size 16 to 18, which I didn't even know was a size. Firstly, I'm just gonna pour my milk into my velvetizer. And then pour my hotel chocolate, hot chocolate mix into here. Oh my gosh, this is ready. It smells unreal. Look at that right there. Right, let's pour it in. I'm going to see if I can do this one handed. But My hot chocolate right let's decorate kind of a hot chocolate without a little bit of whipped cream let's see if i can do this one-handed i'll just like plop it on the top do you think i'll stay yes right final touch i'm just gonna add a straw bang on in there perfect so this is my cute little area I just do all my college work at and all stuff like that. I bought these cute little matches. They're pink. And I'm just going to light my M&S candles with them. And then I'll show you when I turn the lights off. They are so cool. They're the ones that are trending on TikTok. And basically, they are, I think, heat activated. But less that much. It's really cute. I'll show you them with the lights off now. I need to do is sit back go on my laptop and relax and obviously drink my lovely hot chocolate that I've made have obviously started drinking it but it is unreal I love it so much guys I think that is the end of this video I really hope you guys liked it if you did please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos just like this one I'll be doing a lot more stuff to do with Christmas soon but anyway guys I love you all and I'll see you all next time bye also guys, my new song Hurt So Good is out now. Click the bottom left square to listen. And subscribe to my channel for two videos a week. Love you all, bye.